workers are protesting after being on strike for three years, calling out what they say is unfair treatment from their employer, Radisson Blue Vancouver Airport Hotel. Since May 2021, they have walked this picket line after over 140 long-term staff were mostly women and people of color were terminated during the pandemic. The union representing the workers says the hotel at the time named Pacific Gateway received millions of dollars from the federal government to be used as a quarantine site for travelers. And coincidentally, it let go of the workers, which prompted the ongoing strike. We walked out of the hotel in support of those 143 workers because they still want to come back to work. And on top of that, we're also uh, bargaining for a new contract. So again, in this bar uh, new contract, we want a living wage. Dulce Pereira's Verma has worked at the hotel for over 20 years. She says many of the workers here are forced to work multiple jobs in order to make ends meet. One job should be enough. We need that energy to take care of our family when we get home, especially for us women. In taking care of our family, that builds a good community, and a good community is the foundation of a good society. Many of these women have worked here for 10, 20, 30 years. They want to be treated as professionals. They want respect. They want secure jobs. They want their jobs back. Union representatives say the hotel is under investigation after it hired impermissible workers. This hotel has admitted to violating labor law multiple times so they've uh, brought in contracted workers for example to clean the hotel rooms the union says negotiations with the employer have resumed and they are working with a mediator to find a resolution that addresses recall for those who want to return and job security that will hopefully put an end to this three-year strike the Radisson strikers didn't ask for this fight this employer decided that they were going to use the pandemic to take away decades of struggle to an achievement in this hotel. City News reached out to the hotel for comment but did not hear back in time for broadcast. In Richmond, Angela Bowers, City News.